for me, it's, it's absolutely important, absolutely crucial that the side dishes served alongside barbecue, they are equally important as the meat itself because they go together, they partner up to provide an overall dining experience. I think any kind of side with pork, it just goes together like peanut butter and jelly. Uh, pork is so forgiving and pork is so versatile that you can have it with fries, you can make it with mashed potatoes, coleslaws, you know, potato salads. It doesn't even matter. When I talk about sides, I think probably the most requested side for me is macaroni and cheese, you know, with the breadcrumb topping. I use a panko breadcrumb and I render bacon in it too because bacon just makes everything better. I use cavatappi for my macaroni and cheese. It's more of a, it's a longer noodle. It's got that spiral going. Well, the cheese just clings right to it. You know, I think better than elbows. And elbows are traditionally macaroni and cheese, you know. I'm gonna toast some panko breadcrumbs next in a pan with a little bit of butter. And I'm gonna pack that all on top. We put baked beans and coleslaw with barbecue in um, the southeast, but I'm a Mississippi girl, and if you're gonna talk about pork in a few sides, I mean, we put pork in turnip greens and butter beans and black eyed peas and barbecue spaghetti. You know, I like a good, just say like, a good, you know, crown pork roast, and I like it with some good grits. You know, a chipotle infused or something that kind of brings that southwest flavor instead of mashed potatoes and these grits. For some acidity on the dish, um, I wanted to brighten things up, so I took these clusters of red grapes, because they're seedless red grapes, they're delicious, um, and I'm actually going to take these, I'm going to dress them uh, in a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and I'm going to place them in the smoker for about 10 minutes, and they're going to get really stewy and delicious. Another thing that, you know, is sweet potatoes, I'm really into sweet potatoes, I love them, I char them, I almost burn them to, on purpose, and then I can slice them and get some nice rich flavors in there. Since my barbecue draws on lots of international influences, I also like to internationalize my, uh, my side. The sweet potatoes go inherently well with barbecue. Their sweetness uh, uh, pairs well with most pork, with all barbecue, and it's just a spin on a traditional side. Traditionally, barbecue is being served with uh, a potato salad of some sort. And I'm just making a contemporary spin on this. And what I have here is, is a roasted sweet potatoes and I purposely peel them first and then roasted them because I like the brown edges on here, which gives a phenomenal flavor. Um, but another thing that is really important to think about, especially when it comes to barbecue, is pickles. You know, I'm really excited and motivated. You know, pickles have been a long tradition, but you know, we tend to, to categorize maybe two or three pickles, but pickled peaches, pickled apples, pickled watermelon rind, it really cuts through some of the richness of the meal, you know.